Today, I'd like to talk about commitment and what it really means to commit. Now, before I get started, I want you to ask yourself, what is your goal right now? And am I committed to my goal? Uh, see, there's a couple of things that go in with commitment. First of all, commitment, and everyone's probably heard this in some form in a, of an, or another, you have to do whatever it takes. What does whatever it takes mean? It means all in. And I want you to look back and look at your goal. Think about how you woke up today, whatever time you're watching this. And think it was the first thing on my mind, my goal. You'll know when you're committed because it becomes a healthy obsession. And I always tell all my elite clients, I will show you exactly what to do and exactly how to do it to get you to where you want to go. But there's one prerequisite. You have to be all in. If you're 99% in, you're 100% out. Now, that may sound harsh, but it's the truth. And commitment is the starting point to really creating a world-class life, to achieving your goals. And let's ask ourselves, well, what, what really fuses with commitment that sets somebody up to win? And that's courage. You have to have the courage. And you have to bet on yourself. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. There's no other way to do it. You have to mix courage with commitment, and you're going to set yourself up to win. Now, if you look, at, I could tell you personally, if I look at any goal I set, um, I accept the idea right away that it is done. But I also am aware that in the moment I set my goal that I don't have the confidence to achieve it yet. So my job is to build that confidence. My job is to build that part of my identity to match the confidence necessary for the goal. It doesn't mean I won't have the confidence, but I would have already achieved it had I already had the confidence. And so when you go into that unknown space, when you make that commitment, you're starting the, receive, the receivership of your big goal to you. But let's look why people don't commit. They don't commit. They say, I want this, but then they start sending a, a ton of double binding messages. I want this, but when the time is right. The time is never going to be right. The time it gives you the idea is when the time is right. Your job is to accept it. So number one, they're sending double binding messages. They're always coming from a state of what's missing. Can I do it? Needing to be liked. And the big one, holding back. I watch people who have such great wealth of infiniteness in, inside of them, like everybody does, and they're born to succeed, but they don't understand and connect with the infinite within themselves. The infinite can't fa fail. Wealth and success is your birthright. But they're holding back because they're afraid to lose. Well, that's not commitment. That's coming from a state of playing it safe, playing their life not to lose. We want to play our life to win. We want to operate with a growth mindset. A growth mindset is not by doggedly doing it harder. It's by doing that deep internal work to create personal transformation. And we've got to understand when we commit, we're planting that goal in our subconscious mind. And like Solomon says, as a man think it in his heart, so is he. But whatever you plant grows. If I plant non-commitment, well, that's what I'm planning. I'm going to plant a lot of doubt, a lot of lack of worth in there. Whatever you plant grows. And what are you planting? Well, when you commit, you're saying, this is where I'm going no matter what. And you're planting that faith muscle inside of you. You're planting the faith of that seed and growing it inside of you. And what is faith? It's seeing what you want and having that the dominating idea of your want. I, uh, creation's already finished. I'm planting this seed of what I want inside of me. And it's believing in the incredible. What's the incredible? That I have a mind that I'm best friends with now. And that mind creates 96 to 98% of all my results. And whatever I give it, it's giving back to me in terms of my physical reality. And then you're going to receive what the masses call 
miracles and incredible that you call standard. And you have an expectation and you built this as part of your philosophy and your identity and it's building your results. But understand, it influences your conscious thinking, whatever you're committing to. It influences what ideas to accept and reject. How to surround yourself with an environment of getting the right direction, the pro building the proper standards, and surrounding yourself with A plus performers. But what is the what else is your thinking creating? What does your commitment create? It controls the vibration you're in, and that dictates what you attract. What if you could attract effortless success? Would you want that? What if I told you right now that you can have anything you want? If you will discipline yourself to focus on what you want all day long. Well, that's the truth. I remember listening to this from W. Clement Stone. He was partners with Napoleon Hill. And he said, I can tell anybody they can have exactly what they want if they focus on what they want all day long. Now, I'm giving you that task. But it, you can't focus on what you want all day long if you have not committed. Now, what else goes with commitment? We already said courage does. The third thing that goes with it is capability. Am I capable? Well, ask yourself, am I capable to achieve a massive quantum leap? The answer is an emphatic yes. An emphatic yes. You've got to understand this. It's not just, yeah, maybe. It's an emphatic yes. I own it. I've accepted that idea because if one person can do it, anybody can do it. And then the fourth step is what standards is required for this commitment. Well, you can always elevate your standard as you let your vision drive you. Now, we're always coming from want or needs. Wants create abundance, wants develop our standards, needs create scarcity, needs create procrastination, needs create double binding messages. Well, I want this, but no one's in my family's done it. I want this, but my past has told me. Forget about the past. The only time we look at the past is for education. We don't make decisions from what, what happened in the past. We learn from it and we propel ourselves forward. Remember these two these words. Pivot forward. These two words always look forward. You don't walk all day backwards. Well, I don't want you living in the past. I don't want you living in what's missing. I don't want you living in what is. I want you living in your magnificent obsession. What do I really want? And once you accept it, it's there. The law of our being is for perpetual increase. We are here to experience the wonders of life. Our creator didn't bring us here to be ordinary. Our creator planted us extraordinary abilities with our higher faculties. We can accept and reject any idea. We can originate any idea. What ideas are you originating? Commit. Burn that word in your mind. I am committing to living the life that I want. Not that the life my wife wants for me. Not that the life my kids want for me. Not that the life my parents want for me. I'm going to be the star in my movie. And guess what you're going to do? You're going to bring everybody in your environment up to your vision. Your vision builds your standards. Stick to it with faith and gratitude. When you're at the highest level of real awareness and flow is when you're in gratitude. That's when you make your best choices. But I will tell you right now, if you're doubting yourself, doubt your doubts. Doubting yourself is a bad idea. I always say it's a dumb idea because it's the dumbest idea because you have infinite inside of you. We have to understand the laws of our mind. We have to work in harmony with the laws of the universe and understand if one person can do it, anybody can do it. But what it demands is to go all in. Not 90% in, not 95% in, not 98% in, 100% in. And then watch how much you are backed by the universe. And understand this, as you come from commitment, you're going to build a desire. And what is desire? Desire is what fuels you. Desire what causes you to act. Desire is what alters your vibration. And it instantly sets up a match on a much higher frequency to the fulfillment of your desire. You're in control. Don't play small. Play a big game. You're not meant to just get by. Losing is a mental disease. You're here to win. Make winning part of your identity. Commit. 
Watch what happens. Stop holding back. Go all in. Activate your I don't give an F muscle. This is what I'm doing no matter what. Go live your life. Go live it extraordinary. Life goes by so fast. Don't live in regret. Keep growing yourself. Grow your image. Grow your philosophy. Grow your standards. Grow your environment. And go create an amazing rest of the year. Thank you so much.